Hi gang, I thought I'd show you a typical day for an off-grid solar system installer. And Ottawa Solar Power was nice enough to let me join them for the day. An off-grid system is one which is not connected to any utility power lines, because it's way out in cottage country where there are no power lines. The journey started at 6 a.m. You have to start that early because it takes just over two hours to get to the cottages. On this day we were going to two locations where repairs were needed due to lightning damage, and one where we needed to add something. All three were on islands in the same lake. This will be the first time we've seen these systems. They were installed years ago by other companies. Here the guys are loading up the barge. And then we're off. We couldn't ask for a more beautiful day and area to spend it in. After a few minutes we arrive at location one. You can see some solar panels on the roof of the dock, but we're going to be adding some more. There was also some lightning damage to some of the hardware. So here's the old system he's working on there. These are batteries. We're putting those in place to the old ones there. The old ones there have been there for 17 years, which is a nice long life for batteries. Um, this inverter right here it got hit by lightning, and it looks like since the charge controller there is fine, the uh, lightning came in on the AC side and hit the inverter. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is adding some more solar panels on the roof in addition to what's there. And we're going to be replacing the inverter plus we're going to add a new charge controller for the new solar panels. So this is the cable being fed up the roof there for our new solar panels that are being installed. While work was being done to upgrade some of the hardware below and remove the damaged parts from the wall, Work also started on installing the additional solar panels on the roof. That way one person could work on the hardware below, another on the cable run, and another on the roof, all at the same time for maximum efficiency. That left one person to help out where needed. Like here, to get the old batteries out of the way. Here the guys measure and mark things before putting the support bolts for the rails. While I was filming on the roof, the guys below would remove the old inverter. And though we found they weren't damaged, we brought some upgraded lightning arresters, so the old ones were being taken out. Meanwhile, the rails for the solar panels were being prepared and installed. And by the time I got back down, the new and improved lightning arresters were being installed. Back on the roof with the rails in place, the next step is to install the solar panels combiner box, where wires from the solar panels are attached to the cable going down to the hardware below. And at the same time, one of the guys had run the cable under the roof to just above the hardware. We did some last minute modifications to the e-panel before mounting it to the wall. This e-panel includes the new inverter, the charge controller for the new panels, breakers, disconnect switches, and more. Once the ground wires were on the roof, it was time to install the solar panels. the solar panels and roof cable done, all that was left was for one guy to finish the wiring below. Meanwhile the rest of us hopped in a boat and headed over to location 2. So here we are at one of the other locations and this inverter looks like it's been toasted by lightning. So that's going to come off and at a later date we'll come back and put on a new inverter. And still at the second location, uh, that bottom left uh, inverter right down there also is damaged by lightning. So we remove the inverters from the wall for taking away to be repaired, if they can be. The barge will come by later and pick them up. So at the second location you can see those uh, marks on a tree there. That was the lightning strike and in fact this rock here was blown out of the ground and when they dug up the rock and behind it they saw this root with the cables going be behind there. The lightning damage uh, went in through there to the systems. So back at the first location, uh, we're, we're in midstream here. A lot of the wiring's been done. We still have to do the uh, generator, automatic generator starter, and then put the batteries in place, the new batteries. Okay, so here we are at the third location, and uh, we were going to in install an inverter bypass switch, but <laughs> we saw the location and there's a lot more that needs to be put in here before we can do that. 
uh, doesn't even have a generator input uh, breaker. So um, we're going to have to come back for this one, but that's okay. We're coming back for other reasons here anyway. So. After getting back to the first location, verifying that everything was good, we headed back to the parking lot and home. And it was 8.45 by the time I got back home. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more videos like this. That includes a very detailed tour of an off-grid system, one that explains all the parts, one about using a Fresnel lens from a rear projection TV for solar cooking, and one about a net zero energy public washroom here in an Ottawa park. And a special thanks to Ottawa Solar Power for letting me film this. If you're in the Ottawa area and you need solar of any type, you can find them through their website, ottawasolarpower.com. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!